In this video, we are going to rig the Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro 3-way. The best and first way it is run and gun for solo filmmaker. And the second way is just for, you know, like a small production and or even solo. And the last, which is my favorite, we are actually going to beef the camera up as you was working in a studio environment. So I've got a shoot tomorrow and basically the camera is going to be on tripod and we would have me, the DP, the AC, the focus puller and the director. So I kind of want to rig it so and show you guys how I normally do it. So first of all, if this is your first time seeing my video or my channel, Hey, welcome. I'm Kasha Lembo and I'm a DP director based in London. And this channel is all about filmmaking and helping you to improve your visual storytelling. So listen, if that's something that you're into, make sure you give this video a like, but I don't want to delay you and I know time is money, but let's talk about things that are on our table before we start rigging. So let's start with the cage. We do have um, the small rig cage. I do like this because it does what I want a cage to do. But anyway, any cage that you have, it's going to do the trick for you. Also, as you can see, the T5 goes here, but I don't normally use the T5. I prefer to use a C fast because I hate having a lot of cable dangling out of my camera quick story so i was filming and someone bumped my cable and i lost quite a bit of footage so that's why i prefer to use the c fast so that is the cable and obviously battery we do have a v mount or v lock battery and there's some people who prefer to use npf battery style but again it's always good to use what's accessible to you as a filmmaker. In terms of lens, we do have the Sigma 18 to 35, but if you're using a small rig matte box, you would need a step up ring because the uh, matte box is actually a 95 millimeter. Obviously, I also have to mention we do have the small rig mini matte box and Another option when you come to lenses, we do have um, the Tokina 50 to 135. By the way, if you want to get this lens, check for the review coming up soon because I'm going to be releasing that. So make sure you subscribe for that. Again, um, the Sigma 18 to 35, I have done a review of this lens also with the matte box so you're going to see a small pop-up with the um sigma 18 to 35 review also for the um small rig mini matte box for monitoring we do have the ninja v from atomos because listen this is actually very small and high quality monitor you can't no go wrong with that and everything is going to be in the video description so here is the best plate from small rig and um so many other accessories in terms of the follow focus i'm using a dji wireless follow focus because this one works very good for me and i do have a few different handle and with the wireless i'm using a teradec bolt and another thing that we have to talk about obviously we do have the cables i'm also going to show you a quick tips on how to actually minimize your cable on your camera and with the battery plate we have this here it's from LAN party the reason why i do love this is because you've got so many power um input and output also as i've mentioned i'm going to be filming and the thing that i i like to do is basically i give the focus puller his own uh, monitor feed so he can literally focus on pulling for, uh, 
he can focus on pulling focus right that's a good one and here as you can see it has a two inputs and outputs so when you want to maximize your hdmi usage on your camera this is actually a very good option for you and that's why i picked it you also have a d tap here again great great option so um so that is it for the accessories and now we have to start rigging our camera so let's go the first thing is to put our camera inside this small rig cage and we're just going to do that very very quick like i said you can literally rig um this with any cage that you feel like is um worth it for you now that we do have our cage on the camera so one thing that i've seen people doing is they basically use the camera like this so check this out all they do is they put on uh, the lens of their choice and so let's put the sigma 18 to 35 so they put on the lens of their choice and they also use a top handle like this and you are almost ready so as you can see this is setup number one it's very light and very easy to carry you do have your body the cage the top handle you have the lens and your mini mat box and i've seen so many people rigging their cameras like this because let's say you're shooting wedding or any event and this actually tend to be the best solution so for me i would be happy with this if i was actually shooting a solo project again like i said listen we have to beef this thing up for my production that I have tomorrow inside the studio. So I'm actually gonna take off the matte box and put the lens that I'm going to be using tomorrow and then put on a base plate and then let's see how that look. So as you can see, this is the setup number two and it is completed. So I'm going to run you through the things that we did with this like a small production setup. So we do have our V mount battery plate. Like I've explained, this is a very good one that can literally help you to have more HDMI output. We also have this 15 millimeter rod and this base plate from small rig we also have our matte box and the top handle again this is quick and easy you can literally add your microphone here or your wireless microphone or anything that you really want to add on top of your top handle and of course your monitor so this will do well for like a small production again you can also put um like your wireless follow focus on the road and literally run it on to your camera so this again would work perfectly fine with a small production and now we're literally gonna take some of these accessories off and then beef it up to how I'm going to be using it tomorrow. And then I'm going to explain you what is on top of our camera. So let's do that right now. From here, what I had to do, I had to take off the monitor. I also had to take off the articulated arm so I can put on the lens that I'll be using tomorrow. The reason why I like to do this is so I actually, when I get on set, I'm actually ready to start blocking straight away. As you can see here, I'm putting on a magic arm, which is quite strong. And this is where later on, I had to put the wireless video transmitter. Obviously we're putting on the mud box. And here I was just trying to stabilize the camera. 
I kind of like to see it uh, back heavy rather than being front heavy. Again, just putting on the a wireless video transmitter. But quickly, I want to give a shout to two of my subscribers. That is Russell and Sigma for actually suggesting for me to uh, make the video where I'm rigging this camera. So back into the video, the top handle that I'm actually putting on now, this is a good top handle that I like to use when I'm adding more stuff on top of my camera. So again, guys, this is quite everything I would say that we had to put on. Obviously, there's all the cables and stuff. And if you actually want to see a video of me explaining everything that is on this rig, please click the video that's just here on the card. And thank you again for subscribing.